He's the mobile PC doctor. Hello, this is Paul from Mobile PC Doctor, and in this tutorial, I'm going to run through Microsoft Security Essentials. Now, this is free from Microsoft up to Windows 7. So, previously, it worked on Windows Vista and Windows XP, but because those two operating systems now are obsolete, um, Microsoft Security Essentials is now only for Windows 7. Now, before I open up the program, I just want to point out this icon down here. Now, it's Amber. This is a little house with a little flag, that's what I see. Um, it's turned to amber. Now, under normal running conditions, the icon will be green, but it's turned to amber, and that means it needs a scan or an update. So you can either double click here, or right click and open, or you can double click on the icon if you have one on your desktop. So let's go ahead and open the program. Okay, so here's Microsoft Security Essentials, and the first thing you see is amber, and there's a big fat button here that says scan now. Click that button. Microsoft Security Essentials will actually scan and do it. It basically is a routine scan, that's what it's doing. Um, it needs regular routine scans and they're engaged by the user. They won't happen by themselves, they will, uh, it will require you to run a scan. Now it's running a quick scan, um, so that means it's only looking in the most obvious places where threats will reside. It's not scanning every nook and cranny. Um, if you do a full scan, it can take several hours, and I've heard in extreme cases on slow computers it can take, you know, five plus hours to do a scan, which is a long, long time. A quick scan won't take anywhere near that length of time, so uh, this is the one to go for on a routine basis. There you go, so the scan is now completed. And on my computer, it scanned 78,000 files, and that took just a couple of minutes. So for me, that was very quick. If we close this down a second, all right, what I would recommend is that on a regular basis, you just open up Microsoft Security Essentials, uh, if you have this one installed, and just check that it's green. Once everything's green, you can then close it down. Or check this icon down here, that that's green with a white tick in the middle. Everything's good to go. If it's amber, then click the amber button for it to either update or scan. Uh, if you want to do your own updates manually, you can click the update tab and then click on the update button. It will search the Microsoft servers and if there's anything to come down, it will then download it and install it. And just to bring to your attention, you've got this icon, oh, it's gone now. But um, the icon animated slightly differently again. There was an arrow that was pointing downward as it was downloading off the internet. So the icon changes, I think there's like five different examples. There's the uh, red icon that loads at the beginning to say that it's not fully working until it's connected to the internet. There's the amber icon that says it needs an update or a scan. And there's the scan icon where the icon uh, has a yellow circle in the middle going round and round and round. And then there's the download button where the arrow points down and animates. Microsoft Security Essentials is now updated. You can have a look at the history to see any threats found I've got a clean history there. And in the settings, when you perform a scheduled scan, you can select whether you want to do a quick scan or a full scan. By default, it's set to quick scan, and I would leave it at that. You can tell it what day of the week you want it to scan automatically and at what time. Thing is, the computer has to be on at this time. Sunday's at 2 o'clock. I don't think I'll set this anyway. That's 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, the computer's off, so that's no good, and it won't actually uh, scan. So, you know, you might say, well, I'll have a Wednesday at 9 o'clock in the morning or 10 o'clock when I switch my laptop on. But if it misses the scan, the icon down here would turn amber. So that would then prompt you to open the program, click the amber button. Okay, this tick box, check for the latest virus and software definitions before running a scheduled scan. Yes, that's important. Um, start the scheduled scan only when my PC is on but not in use and you can limit the CPU usage. Now, every time you get an antivirus that's scanning, it's using the CPU. Now, I'm just going to go into my task manager and look at performance. Your CPU will go up to a maximum very quickly, you know, in an instant, up and down, up and down, and, and it can't, can't go any faster than 100%. Because your computer is running all these processes in the background, plus what you want it to do, go on the internet, check your emails, play music, watch videos, whatever it is you want to do, it takes time away from the CPU. So see this CPU as the lady at 
Tesco's serving you when you buy your food. Um, she can only work so fast. She can only work so hard. And once she's up to maximum capacity, there's nothing else you can get her to do any faster. She, she's working maximum speed. And so this limit CPU usage is just saying that, you know, how much of CPU time do you want to use? If you put it down to its lowest 10%, it means that most of the CPU time will be available for other tasks, which means when it runs a scan, it's going to take much longer. If you put it up to 100%, it means it's going to use all of the CPU available just to run this program, which means that your computer will then become quite sluggish, but the scan will finish much sooner. So it depends. So what they do is default is they set it at 50%, kind of a halfway. So you can tweak this if you want to and then click Save Changes if you've made any changes. All right, so that's a quick rundown of Microsoft Security Essentials. I highly recommend this program, but you must keep your eye on the security. Make sure that it's green. Make sure the icon down here stays green. As soon as it turns to amber, then open the program and click the amber button. If you found this tutorial helpful, then please like the video or comment below. And if you want to see more videos, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Oh